Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. The question, Brad, is, is high-tech rehab 12 times better for stroke or neurologic, neurological injury patients than just regular rehab? That's a good question, Bob, because you come up with all these fancy dancy things and you wonder, it's like, is it really, you know, as a therapist, I wonder, is it really necessary or can I do the same with some of the old techniques that didn't use the gadgets? Right. So this is the FITMI, uh, F-I-T-M-I, mm -hmm. M-I stands for Motion Interface. I see. And uh, this is a, a high-tech device and they, they did, a, I think, a little limited study and they found out because of the nature of this product, that people tended to do 12 times more reps, which is a lot, sure, um, than they did with just regular rehab. And if, if you, I, I think you'd agree with this, Brad, when you're working with a, a stroke patient or a neurological patient, it's all about reps. The more, re the more that you're, right. you're, you're getting that brain to rewire right. so that it's, it's gonna do the things that you want it to do again. Right, we wanna form those new neurological pathways so right. that they can function and become normal as they were prior to the, the stroke. Right. So what we're going to do here, we, I'm just, we're going to introduce this a little bit, and then we're actually having Mike, who has worked with us a lot. He's our co-worker. Right. And, and he's going to explain, um, you know, he's going to kind of show how we, what we did with it right. uh, when we were using it with the patients. Right. So, um, so the idea is that you can get the patient more engaged, and there's three types of feedback with these, um, these are the, oh, by the way, we should tell what these are. We yeah. got two pucks, by the way, they call them uh, wireless pucks. Well, they look like a hockey puck. Yeah, and they're actually, you have to charge them up, and, and if you push on them, they actually give a little vibration. You get some so, feedback there. Yeah. Yep. And then we have the charging station, where that's where that charges this up, and it also charges up the receiver. This receiver has to plug into the tablet. It also can plug into your computer, but you have to make sure your computer is compatible. Sure. And, and okay. there's a, there, I saw there was a link on that you could actually uh, check to find out whether or not your uh, computer is compatible on their website. Oh, so this is not just a holder. It's a holder and a charger. So yeah, you, yep, I you see. can see on there that it, it fits in there. If you, yep. you got to line it up right with the... Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, so yep. you might have... A, uh, there we go. You yep. got it. Okay. Yep. So anyway, so it, it's going to give you three types of feedback. One, you got a visual feedback because you'll be watching it on the screen, which is uh, Michael show you. Two, you got vibration, and three, on some of these, you, there's an added ping, an auditory oh. ping. So you got vision, you got sensory, you got auditory. Sure. So, um, and the other thing it does, Brad, is that uh, you know, as it goes on, the challenge it unlocks more and more difficult exercises. So you start off, it's pretty easy, mm -hmm. and then it just keeps getting harder and harder once you are successful. Sounds like a so, therapist designed it. Yep, it does. So, <laughs> all right, why don't we go ahead and uh, jump over to, to um, Mike. Um, this is gonna be available down below in a link if you wanna take a look at it. I think it's $2.99 without the tablet. With the tablet, it's $4.99. Right. So, all right, thanks for watching. If it turns off, there it goes. All right, I'm here with Mike. Mike's been very generous in a, allowing us to take some of his time and he's going to show us how to use this thing because he's been using it with a patient and uh, uh, yeah. a few patients yeah and it worked out it was a as our occupational therapist was just saying it was very motivating to especially for the one patient where he yeah seemed like he stayed really engaged and that's always the key to especially stroke rehab is they do the multiple repetitions so mm -hmm. all right mike why don't you take it away i'll, I'll try to handle the camera here okay and you so first we're going to go through the music touch program uh, for this, we're going to so use... So that's for the two pucks, right? Two pucks. You got yellow and blue. Isn't that the name of a rapper, Tupac? <laughs> <laughs> I you... think he's dead, Bob. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, God. He shot about... many years ago. I'm sorry about that. I, I'm not up on my All right. pop Can culture. Can you see the screen okay? Yeah, I'm going to go a little bit closer. All right. With the Music Touch program, this is similar to Guitar Hero, if you've ever heard of that. Uh, you can either select playing with your hands... Or you can actually put these down on the ground, and you can tap your feet on them. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, got it. First, you want to hit play. So I'm going to select play. Then you can select left arm, right arm, one or the other, or both. You can select left leg, right leg, or both. So we'll just select arms for now. So it's pretty intuitive, right, Mike? I mean, it's it, yeah. You it walks look at the you screen through. And it kind of tell, it tells you what to do. When you first turn it on, you can select 
like uh, kind of a run through the program to kind of show you how things work. Sure. So kind of takes you through the process. Uh, over here now we have a song selection. So I have easy, medium, hard. We'll just pick a medium song for now. So that's the difficulty level in using the pucks. Yeah. Okay, not, um, not in trying to sing the song. Also, if you're in a busy room, they do have headphones. So you oh, can they do? Headphones, okay, so. good. Now we hit start. Your screen will come up. Up here is the total number of hits. So say 115. Up here is the time limit of the song, so it's 214. Okay. So Thank dead you. center like this, you're going to hit both. Blue, you're going to hit blue. Both. Blue, if you can see on the screen what yep, it's doing. Yeah, I can see. What, so you want to sync oh, up both, both. Yeah. these dots when they hit that bottom circle. So it's going to coordinate between right and left. If you want to make a challenge, you can make people go apart more. I imagine you could put one high, one low. You could yeah. one forward, one back. And Lots then of variation. This would be the same exact setup with the feet. Okay, sure. And obviously, you probably want to put the yellow puck on the right side since the yellow is on image the right is on side. The right. Yeah. Gotcha. And here it'll say like excellent, excellent. If I'm early or if I'm off, it won't say anything. Mike, kind of moving back to when we first started here, you were saying that the receiver, the part that plugs into the the screen, yep, you can plug that generally. Into, I can also, I can pause the game. Okay, you can pl plug that into almost any computer. Uh, I think if it's compatible. Yep. But that also needs to be charged. You said. Yep. This is a charging dock, so this is basically like a Bluetooth signal. Okay. Plug it in the center. Each puck. Little inputs, and if you look in here, there's little inputs. You just plug it right in. And they plug right in. And you said you can tell they were starting to lose their charge because you'd look inside and they'd have the. Yeah, there's a little this icon here. Right. It's green right now, and I press it on. Oh, you can gotcha. See that. It'll gotcha. it'll turn red, and that means they're dying. And that was one of the things too that uh, you know we mentioned earlier. Usually, is that if you use it a few times a day, they'd charge for about two days, and then they'd kind of die if you didn't recharge them. Okay, so they'd last so, about two days. Yeah, a couple okay. of days usually. All right, there's another program with this, Brad. I'm uh, Brad. Brad. <laughs> I'm already calling you Brad. It didn't take very long, Michael. <laughs> so we will plug this back in. Um, so either when I'm on pause, I can hit resume or end. We'll just end for now. So we'll end. Okay, do you want to quit? Yes. It'll give me my statistics for what part I did play. So I had 49 hits. It said how many were right, left, or both, or yellow, blue, both. So you did well. Yeah. Okay. And I'll say my percentage was 100% for how much of the song I did. Now on the right there, that's showing different body parts you can use? Yep, this is the one I chose was left arm and right arm. So okay. that's what I did. And then you can either do, if you want to play again, go new song. You want to replay the exact same thing, hit replay, or you can hit exit. Okay, gotcha. So we can hit exit. All right. And so now you you're back on the one. music touch screen. Oh, yeah, and I see you got arms on there, you got legs on there. Yep. So right arm, right so leg. These are more gross motor skills okay. when you have the pucks. So. Okay. And then if we just want to quit, we just hit quit. And it brings us back to the kind of desktop area. Now, you did, did you do the rehab one yet or not? Nope. We okay. did music touch. All right, let's go to rehab. Rehab one. Studios is a little less of a game and more of exact direction with video on how to properly do exercising on it. Yeah, so they, this is where they have you uh, supinating and pronating the discs and stuff like that. Right? Yeah, different grips. They have hands. Well, I'll go to the main screen. So when you yeah, come well, in here, I'm going to go to exercise. I want to exercise. Okay, sure. a little body part's going to come up. You press them. So hands, if you were on a computer, you'd use your mouse. But sure. But you pick hands, arms, core, or legs. So you can press any one of those, and when you, once you do, it'll tell you, it'll direct you which exercises to do? Yeah. And over here is how long you want to work for, out for. So say I want to play for five minutes, I'll do five minutes. If I want to play for 15, I'll do 15. Gotcha. And then it'll stop when I'm done. Okay. Um, we'll pick the hand. When you first start a new muscle group or start, you're only going to have a few exercises to choose from. Okay. And it's going to have very low sets. As you get more advanced, you'll have more sets and more exercises to gotcha. do. Gotcha. So it's kind of a progression done by the computer system. So we'll choose hand. Now that progression, does that happen if you don't, if you aren't successful? Let's say you're working with it. If and you're you not successful, well. it won't progress. It won't more. progress. No. So you have to progress. Yeah. You have to so do you can well. see. 
If you see look. see these bottom blue circles? Yeah. The ones that are filled full with the star uh -huh. our gentleman had completed at the maximum amount. Okay. The so ones that aren't quite filled, he didn't quite max out. All right. These are the settings that were left from the patient yep. then. And then if I go to say we didn't do any core. So automatically core only gives me three exercises to choose from. These are all locked. If you see, can see the locked icons. So I can't do those exercises until I work these three up enough. I see. You have to be successful with yep. those three. So the arm, we have most of them open. Do you want to give an example of an arm one maybe? Yeah. Let's go to arm. So I'll just hit begin. Now this has a, tells you directions. So it says place the blue puck on the table. Okay. Right press there. down with your arm. So when I hit it with the arm, the screen moves. Oh yeah. If you want to watch what it is, a video comes up and they'll demonstrate it. Oh, nice. Gotcha. Yep, she gives tips too. So that's just hitting one puck as opposed to two pucks or anything yep. like that. So that's a very basic exercise. But again, for someone who has, has had a stroke. So now I'll that. show you this. He maxed out, so it's very fast. Okay. So if I hit start, it's going to want me to constantly do this as fast as I can. One. So I'll hit start, it'll count down, and it'll go. So if you see here, it's counting. This is infinite number. The highest score he had was 150. After a while, this little bomb will come up, and I have to go quicker. If I'm not quick enough, the bomb explodes and game's over. So. Nice motivation to not yep. get bombed. So, so, very good. Okay. So if I want to stop it, it's paused. Or I can just hit done. Do you want to just show one maybe advanced exercise on it? Sure. One that's a more advanced that, that he may have gone further through, right? Yeah, so on the hand one, or the arm one here, if you look down below, you can actually, once you unlock these circles, you can press them to change the exercises on your own. You don't have to run through every exercise every time. Oh, sure. If there's gotcha. a certain one you want to work on, you can go you right can ahead to it. it. Yeah. So this is a shoulder abduction, so we can try that one. So once again, if I move it. I'm going to have to back up on no, this one. No, sorry. I can sit down, too. I'm not a camera person, so. So this is sensing me moving this up and down. I'm not hitting this time, I'm moving. It can also roll, oh. it can sense rolling. Oh, it does. So this senses where it is in place. So right now, it's moving side to side. So it means oh, I'm doing yeah. it. So if I hit start. It'll make me go, and this is only five reps because he didn't really get this exercise much. So sure. that's the start. So I hit five, there, next level. Do it again just so that, um, yeah, I, sure. I can watch the screen this time. Yeah. So now we'll do it again. This time it probably going to have me do a few more reps. So this is 10 reps now. And as you can see, that little yellow stick there, that's yeah. kind of where I'm at. So if I go faster, see how it goes up? Oh, yeah. If I go really slow, it slowly goes down. And say I fatigue at 8 and it gets to that bomb, you can see what happens. It'll blow up. Sure. So you stop moving the arm now, that's what's happening. Also, as you get higher in reps, that bomb creeps up on you, so it gets oh, harder. Oh, it makes it harder to Yeah, deal. you have to go fast, so. All right, here comes the bomb. See, so you lit the fuse. Oh, yeah. And you're going to blow up. Cute. New highest score is nine. OK. And Whoops. then, I think the only thing probably is if you want to reset the stats, if you have someone different working with it. Sure. We want to start them over. Yeah, why don't you show how to do um, that? I go to exit, and then it'll it'll tell you how many reps you did on each goal and give you kind of a percentage uh -huh. of what you did right. So then I hit done, and then see this screen is we've done a lot of hands and arms. So see how the blue is really filled. Right. Core, we've done no exercises. So I'm gonna go to hands here. I click on it, and then it'll show me what I worked on each day. Obviously, we haven't been working on it lately. But all you have to do is, there's a little trash icon. And I click the that. trash icon, and it says, do you want to erase all the data? I see. And it'll return to zero for the body region. Got so you. it'll go back to like low reps again. Sure. Instead of 150. All so. right. Excellent. And that's about all for the pucks. Obviously, the pucks with the rehab, you can do legs, more just specific hands or core exercising. Sure. So. Well, thank you very much, Michael. Yeah. All right.